What's up everyone and welcome to yet another video brought to you by Boost Your Biology. My name is Lucas and I'm the CEO and founder of Ergogenic Health and my mission is to bring you guys the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So in today's presentation, I'm going to explore some of the fundamental benefits of a very well-known Chinese medicinal herb called Sistanch. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and show you some of the most outstanding research behind this particular herb. And I really want to make this the number one video on YouTube talking about uh, Sistanch extract and the most evidence-based as well. So just going to share my screen here um, and we're going to start with my favorite study um, and that is Sistanch, one of the best pharmaceutical gifts of traditional Chinese medicine. Now it goes by the name as Ru Kong Rong um, in Chinese medicine uh, and here you can basically see a breakdown on how Sistanch was traditionally used. You can see that it was once used as a tonic and or part of a particular formula to treat chronic renal disease, impotence, female infertility, um, and, and even uh, constipation. But what we're focusing on here is how Sistanch can affect male reproductive capacity um, and how it can also affect various aspects of the brain. So um, you can see that it possesses antioxidant effects. Uh, it, it is neuroprotective and possesses mild anti-aging properties. Um, and realistically, this herb is actually well known uh, because it was so-called uh, one of Genghis Khan's most uh, commonly used herb he actually used it to increase his reproductive capacity um, and one quick fact to note about cystanch is that uh, it actually shares a similar composition to some of the constituents found in the immune boosting herb echinacea so i know a lot of you will know of echinacea um, cystanch actually shares some similar compounds found within um, the herb itself. So here I'm just going to outline some of the key findings of this study. They, they noted an improvement in brain function and you can go into, you can understand more about how it's doing this. Um, and I'll go into that in further detail soon. It does possess, possess a potent aphrodisiac effect, which I'll get into very shortly because that's why you're listening to this video. Um, it has immune boosting properties and some other cool effects as well. So here we go. Here's the first study analyzing the effects of cystanch on male reproductive function. So what's really important to note is that um, cystanch was able to restore the expression of some critical enzymes in the brain and the liver um, that actually govern a lot of the male uh, reproductive hormones. So one really critical point was that it could restore kiss peptin one, which can actually be used as an injection. I'm not, this is not medical advice, but uh, kiss peptin has been used to restore fertility, but this has been shown to um, restore that naturally. Um, now, the other critical point to note is that cystanch has a really positive effect on erection quality um, and penile erectile uh, indexes or indices. So it does this through increasing luteinizing hormone. It increases nitric oxide synthesis in the testes um, and even castrated rats still were able to achieve an erection when they were administered uh, cystanch, which is phenomenal. Um, in this study, it was looking at effects, the effects of cystanch on testosterone and um, substrate utilization, so glucose metabolism, things like that, and exercise capacity. 
Um, and what they found was that high intensity exercise can obviously cause a, an acute increase in testosterone, but chronic exercise can actually decrease uh, testosterone. So what was really profound was that uh, Sistanch was able to reduce the impact of high intensity exercise on serum testosterone, uh, and it was able to maintain it at a normal physiological level. It was able to increase or promote protein synthesis, inhibit amino acid and protein degradation and increase hemoglobin and glycogen reserves in rats um, receiving Sistanch or in combination with exercise. So um, that's another very impressive study. Uh, in this study, it basically looks at how Sistanch can mediate um, male hormone levels. And it does this by the induction, which is me means the activation or engagement of the testicular steroidogenic enzymes. Um, now, the key enzymes that you guys need to understand are these ones here, the CYP11A1, CYP17A1, CYP3A4. You can see that it was enhanced by Sistanch extract. And what they found was that it increased sperm count 2.3 to 2.7 fold. It increased sperm motility 1.3 to 1.4 fold and decreased abnormal sperm by up to 0.6 fold, which is phenomenal. Um, I don't see that occurring with the other herbs like fenugreek or tribulus, things like that. This study looked at one of the key constituents, echinaceoside, which is found within um, Sistanch. Uh, basically, um, what they found was that it increased sperm quality, quantity by targeting the hypothalamic androgen receptor. Now, guys, it's important to note that a lot of these androgen receptors are found in various organs in the body, um, not just in the hair, but also in uh, the brain. So that was very uh, impressive. This one here looked at how cystanch can affect growth hormone secretion, and it does this via the activation of the ghrelin receptor. That's a target for many SARMs and performance enhancing drugs, which is very uh, impressive yet again. And possibly the reason why people that take Sistanch notice increase in uh, muscle mass and weight gain as well. I personally haven't noticed any change in appetite when using Sistanch, um, but I have felt, I definitely felt the aphrodisiac and uh, testosterone effects. And guys listening in, you probably already know that I was able to max out my testosterone to 988 nanograms per deciliter, um, just shy of a thousand. And I did that all naturally through the combination of herbs, supplements, compounds. And I built a whole course talking about how I did that. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Sistanch is able to, was able to uh, protect um, dopaminergic neurons through um, regulating GDNF. Now, GDNF is actually a target for many psychedelic drugs and also a very well-known one, Ibogaine. Um, that's actually a very strong anti-addictive uh, medica uh, medicine that's used. Um, and Sistanch was able to increase GDNF expression, which is highly neuroprotective uh, and things like that. So yet another study looking at how it improves learning and memory in a rat model of vascular dementia. Um, it also improves learning and memory by inducing nerve growth factor like lion's mane. And this, anti this study was looking at the antidepressant and cognitive improvement activities of uh, Sistanch. And you can see that this is critical right here. Um, groups treated with decoction of Sistanch displayed down-regulated MAO activity. So acting as a mild MAO inhibitor, it, it up-regulated the dopamine concentration in the brain. Um, it improved nerve excit excitability. 
And the serum concentration of corticosterone was actually downregulated, which means it was also able to reduce stress. Um, so guys are probably wondering where to purchase Sistanch. I have a link to it, uh, to a reliable vendor in the video description. Check that out. Um, and if you guys have enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that sub subscribe button below. Please share the video, like the video, leave a comment, help boost the algorithm. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.